Anthropologists called them Asiatic Caucasoids because they had facial features and body hair that seemed more European than Asian. In fact, the Ainu are thought to be a remnant of a very ancient population that was once widespread in the Old World. The first anatomically modern humans are thought to have come out of Africa about 100,000 years ago and spread throughout Europe and Asia. The first people in Asia, morphologically, are very similar to the people that are going into Europe. They don't show the really distinctive, unique features that we see in northern Asian populations of today, like the, like the Chinese or the Koreans, Siberian groups. And they are the very first people in Asia. This is 28,000 years from China. What we know of these early Asians is based on just a few skulls. It's one of the earliest anatomically modern Homo sapiens in Asia. One of them is a 28,000-year-old specimen from China, which looks very much like the 9,000-year-old spirit caveman. And there are some marked similarities in the facial architecture. Tremendous similarity in the shapes of the eye orbits in the sense that they're both somewhat rectangular. Similar inner orbital distance, overall appearance of the orbits, the shape of the nose. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. And I think. And there's, it's a little bit smaller skull, it's a little bit more lightly built, but many of the features, including mm -hmm. the very heavy mandible and the prominent, prominent mm -hmm. symphysis here, those features are, mm -hmm. are very much the same. And look at it, look, let's look at it from the side. Uh, and how's the overall shape of the vault? Not bad, is it? Uh uh. Not bad.